This semester, our class worked with Thriving in Place, a community-driven strategy to help Salt Lake City with their anti-displacement. First, we visited 13 community councils and helped them navigate the Thriving in Place website and encouraged them to take our survey. The website included story maps, which contained ground demographic changes from 1970 until 2019. Each student distributed 10 posters around West Salt Lake. This added up to 300 posters in local businesses, parks, and schools. We also designed and prepared stencils and painted them in 150 trails and parks to encourage people to visit our website, thrivinginplace.org. Throughout the semester, we collected 632 intercept surveys and 1,040 online surveys. Using our social media, we reached out to friends and family regarding the project. We also reached out to local groups and organizations that we knew about and asked them to take action by completing the survey and sharing it with others who might also be interested. Altogether, we made 33 social media posts on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Twitter, Nextdoor, and Reddit. We printed 2,000 door hangers in Spanish and English so that people were encouraged to visit our website when they arrived home from work. We concentrated it in the west side and tried to target rental properties as much as possible, not only single family homes. We printed 2,000 bilingual postcards and used various methods to distribute this. We left them in businesses, libraries, and schools. Also, if we asked people to complete our survey but they did not have time, uh, we just asked them to use the QR code to fill out the survey on the postcards. If residents showed a lot of interest, we would ask them to please share the postcards with their friends and family. As part of the youth engagement workshop, we worked with over 200 students from elementary to high school. These lessons defined gentrification and displacement, described the changes in their neighborhood, and listened to how it made these kids feel about their community. We also emailed 1,034 organizations and asked them to share the survey. This list included senior culture homes, community centers, as well as low-income landlords that accepted vouchers, and other organizations that include nonprofits along with other stakeholders. Thanks for listening.